Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The Players Amateur Golf Tournament, entering its 13th year here in the Low Country, was created as the premier tournament for the world's best amateur players to experience rigorous challenge and cutting edge competition. This year's tournament, to be held at Berkeley Hall Club, is scheduled July 9th through the 15th. And here to tell us more about this annual event, co-founder Tom McKnight. Thank you for joining us today, Tom. Yeah, thanks for having me, Sandy. Absolutely. So for viewers who may not be familiar with the Players Amateur Golf Tournament, describe the significance of the tournament to not only the participants, but also to the community. Well, the Players Amateur has really become recognized as one of the top amateur tournaments in the country. And the fact that these amateur players are coming here to play uh, gives them an opportunity to compete with their peers and really to see put their game to the, to the test. Yeah. And this is kind of a, a next step to to guys that uh, will be on the, the PGA Tour later. So it's a, it's a great test and they get a chance to play uh, for a spot in the RBC Heritage because the winner actually gets an exemption into the tournament. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's great. And as a community, it's a chance to really kind of showcase the area. You know, they meet these players, they get to see the best players in the world, the right. top amateurs who will be the future stars of the PGA Tour. Yeah. And they form relationships. A lot of them will be staying with the, in the homes and so they get to meet these guys. So it, you know, it's a great opportunity. And yeah, at the end of the day, opportunity. when the tournament's over with, uh, there's also money raised for charity that will go back in the community. So it's a great situation. Yeah. So how did the tournament actually get started? I know you're one of the co-founders. I know Duke Delter is the, the other co-founder. So how did you all make this come about? Well, actually, Duke and I were on our way uh, traveling together to go to the U.S. Amateur at Pebble Beach in 1999. And you know we were traveling. You were around. only 20 then. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so you know it was a chance to. We were just talking about the tournaments that we played in, and we said, you know, why don't we start one of our own, and we can make it. Uh, we, you know, we want it to be special for the players. So we actually was formed. The idea was formed on traveling uh, to another tournament. So what role, uh, you mentioned the foundation and you mentioned the charity, so what role does the Heritage Classic Foundation actually have with the tournament and who are some of the notable PGA Tour, tour players that have participa participated before they joined the PGA Tour? Well actually in the early stages of the tournament, uh, the Heritage Classic Foundation was gracious enough to give us a, a sponsor exemption spot for the winner into the uh, Heritage Tournament. So, you know, that was kind of their, their initial role, and after that, they, they joined forces with us and actually look over the operational and the financial aspects of the tournament now. So, it was kind of a perfect fit for them because of our charitable aspect, too, and it was a good chance at the same time to, uh, for them to meet some of the players who someday would be playing in the Heritage Tournament. So, uh, it was a great time for, to do that. So, you know, guys like uh, Matt Kuchar, uh, Lucas Glover, Ricky Fowler, Ben Curtis, uh, J.B. Holmes, you know, there are lots of players. Some of the local local area players of D.J. Trahan, you got Mark Anderson, Brian Harmon, yeah. uh, you know, Kyle Stanley, who's lived here for a while. Uh, you know, it was a lot of the guys that, you know, have played in that tournament, right. playing the Heritage, so it was a good time for them to be involved. Right. And, you know, it, it always amazes me as I watch uh, the, the tournaments how young these kids are, you know, and I know they're not kids, but how young they are when they start and, and what great opportunity something like the PGA Golf Tournament is that, you know, puts them on the roster. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I mean, it, it's amazing, these kids, of how good they get so early. Yeah. Um, and and you, you'll have some high school kids here. You'll have, you know, these guys, uh, most of them are college-age players. Right. And getting a lot of them going to turn pro. So Berkeley Hall is the location, and so what preparations are underway right now to host it? You know, it takes a lot of uh, sure. a lot of preparation, but uh, at this time the invitations have some invitations have gone out. Some others will go out later. Uh, so we're trying to form the field. Uh, Berkeley Hall, the, the membership has really taken hold. Uh, there's lots of volunteers and housing for the players. Uh, you know, the, the staff at Berkeley Hall has made it very easy to to accommodate the tournament. As far as the golf course, there's really not much to do because it stays in good shape. Yeah, so, it's a beautiful you know, golf yeah. course. Absolutely so it's, stunning. It's, it's a great venue for the tournament. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And besides that, we're just doing a lot of fundraising uh, because the tournament is, is, is put on through private funds, private donations, and sponsor packages that we have. Uh, you know, so we hope to, to get that going. So that's something, you know, if people can actually look on our website at playersam.com and get a lot of information about the tournament and, and sponsorship opportunities. 
So the date of the tournament and is the public invited and, and what are the fees associated with it if, if, if they are invited? Yeah, the, the public is invited. Uh, the tournaments actually will be the week of the 9th through the uh, 15th of July. Uh, the actual four round tournaments will be uh, the 12th, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 12th through the 15th of July. And it's open to everybody and we hope everybody will come. There are actually no charges. Uh, so it's just a matter of being there and watching these top players in the world. So if players are interested, they too go to the website, or is that invitation only? Actually, well, we have invitation, but there is an entry on there, and we go through. There's a selection process. Uh, there are a lot of exemptions. You know, we have a lot of players from all the different places, all over the country, all over the world. Uh, and But we have certain criteria that, that we'll meet, and we'll fill the field by that. And you mentioned sponsorships, so you are still looking for sponsorships. Absol absolutely. Okay, yeah. and again, that can be through the website. And they also could call Berkeley Hall. Golf yes. Clubhouse, is that yes. correct? they can give them all the information, but it's just a matter of trying to, to raise as much money as we can because it, when the dust is settled and the tournament's over, you know, we would like to have as much money as possible to, to distribute back and uh, for the benefit of local charities. Right, and that's it, the local charities are, are where the money goes, and that's, you yeah. know, that's a terrific outcome to the, to the tournament. Yeah. Well, Thanks. we're excited it's, it's here, and we're excited it's at Berkeley Hall, and thank you for being the co-founder. <laughs> well, th thanks for having me. But we, you know, we always like to talk about the tournament. Absolutely, and we look forward to it July 9th through the 15th. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Andy. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.